So guys, this could be a depressing episode as we could end up going out of both competitions, the FA Cup and the Europa League. Let's find out, shall we? Hello guys and welcome to Dreaming is Possible here with Chesterfield and yes, it could be depressing, couldn't it? We are trailing 1-0 against Bayer Leverkusen. We play the second leg to begin with in today's episode. And then we go two days and it's Man City in the FA Cup. Yeah, only two days in between. So this is going to be a kind of juggling around with like who's going to be playing and fitness-wise, stuff like that. Hopefully we don't pick up any injuries and stuff. Can we, at the Proax Stadium, turn the Bayer Leverkusen um, like, result into a positive? That's what we're going to hope. See if the crowd get behind us and pushes over the line um, let's find out shall we as we kick off against Bayer Leverkusen so then guys this are the two starting lineups we're going obviously the more positive we're at home we've got to like try and like you know claw back this one goal deficit that we've got at the moment so we've got in goal Horn is there yeah we've got Cruz, Bucci, Arifi and Clay is the back four Ben Clay then takes the captain's armband with Martim Neto um, in midfield with him Kina in the cam then we've got Garber Watkins out on the wings and Appleby is up top as for um by Leverkusen, then no real sort of maybe Abel Ruiz is actually starting this one. He didn't start the last one. They, oh, they've not got him. No, he's not there, is he? No, Matt Hummels is not on the bench and he's not in. It. They've got him. Who's that? Ret, Ret, Retzos? Retzos is playing alongside Jonathan Tarr, so, hmm, interesting. He's not even on the bench, but um, we'll see. Um, so there's a couple of changes there, obviously, for, for Leverkusen from, from the first set. They're going quite positive, you know, you'd expect maybe them to maybe try and defend that 1-0, but they're, they're going for it, and why not? Like, if they can get, obviously, an away goal, then it puts them, like, in a massive, like, you know, advantage. But hopefully, um, like I say, the home fans will get behind us and we'll get across the line, but let's find out. Here we go. So we're nearly about 20 minutes in and we got the first highlight as it's played here towards Arifi as he um, has lost the, oh, he's lost the ball. What has he done there? And oh, this is, oh, that could have been awful. Oh, what? Okay, what's happened there? Oh, they've got a player down injured. Um, what happened there? Trem Tremoni is down injured, so um, Horn kicked the ball out. Um, but yeah, he's not gone off by the looks of it. But yeah, that was a, that was a weird highlight. So we're just coming up to half time, and this is only the second highlight of the actual like you know episode like so far. As Ben Clayton finds Martin Neto, he plays this one into the box, headed down by Watkins, comes to Keener, and we are back in this just before half time. Domingos Keener fires it into the bottom corner, and then we are back level on aggregate. As it comes out here, like Ben Clay looks it down, Martin Neto plays it across. I was not sure what Watkins was doing, but he obviously saw something that I didn't. And yeah, he saw Keener on the edge of the box and a great strike um, as he like, you know, beats the keeper into that bottom corner. So we go into the break, leading by a goal to nil, but it is all square, like um, on um, aggregate. So, but as you can see, we've had more of the shots and stuff, but they've had way more of the like you know possession. They're controlling the possession, which is usually what we do. So they're like you know controlling things, but we're the ones that are getting more of the shots away. Can we get that killer winner, or is it, um, are we going to like fall to that away goal? And there's a chance here as Chuck Wazy plays this one across. It's a chance for Abel Ruiz, and he's just drilled his way. Th oh, I can't believe he's just done that. He's just dribbled his way past Felipe Cruz with ease, and he's just fired it past Timo Horn. And that has put us in a very difficult situation now because they have got that away goal. This is just poor. De defending here, we, we've got to like you know, we've got to close him down and we just let him just run, just dribble past, and it's just like that's just terrible, absolutely terrible. But it is actually by Leverkusen that is on the break here as they push forward and they're going to try and finish this game off as Chuck Wazy plays this in, finds Vlasic, Barrow now back to Vlasic, Fortes, Barrow plays this one all the way across here to Paulson. You know, just knocking this about. The longer they keep hold of this ball, the better in the through. And that's a good save from Horn, but it's going to go out for a corner. We're the ones that need to be attacking right now. And unfortunately, it's Bayer Leverkusen that are controlling this game massively. Played in and oof, that could have been number number three for them on aggregate. 
So throw in now as Ollie Clay plays it down. Watkins now, what can he do? Plays it inside, finds Ollie Clay again. Needs to pick somebody out. He's played across. Oh, and it's not, it's it's messing about in there. I don't know what they were trying to do there, but it's come to Appleby now. Charlie Lawrence had a great opportunity. Appleby just can't keep hold of the ball here. And the attack is like fizzled out. It's going to make the final change. Don't know if this change will make any difference. First Coggins going to come on for Watkins just because he's really tired, that's all. And he's also picked up a yellow card. So just switch things around up top. But we've got literally injury time to try and get two goals and we've not got control of the ball right now, which is um, not a good thing. Um, but Keener has now managed to intercept that one. And as he pushes forward, he's still going. And it's a bit of, oh no, it's a chance. Oh, how was that not, how was he not put that in? Oh, the keeper like made an absolute error there. And Charlie Lawrence wanted to do is like stick it either side of him and he didn't. But we're out. We finished one all, but it's that away goal that's like killed us and we go out of the Europa League. Well, it's the first time that we've been in the competition. I know that the board were like expecting us to get to the corner finals, which I think is just ridiculous, like, you know, in our first season. But um the board will always be, you know, it's what boards are. They're all about like, you know, trying to like, you know, Get, go for the best, aren't they? They want the like the best from whatever they can to get, like get as much money. So I can understand that they um, they're always going to push you to another level. If they made things easier, then you wouldn't like you know be committed, would you? So I get that. You know we've done really well in this competition. We we, we topped our group, which is great considering Roma were in it. And um, but no, we're out of this one now. Will we bow out of the FA Cup? Let's find out as we take on Manchester City. Right then, so we obviously there's had to been changes and stuff like that due to fitness levels and, and things like so that is why um, this is the sort of formation. Rodolfo's in goal because, yeah, cup goalkeeper and stuff so that's why I've decided to, to put him in goal. We've got um, Bo Janssen, which uh, yeah, you're not going to necessarily know like he's playing at centre-back along with Bucci and, and Tisseron. And um, we've got Cruz and Ollie Clay who aren't particularly fully fit but, you know, um, got to play him. Ben Clay, Neto um, and Onkunku are in the midfield field and then we've got Pedro Neto going to be partnering um, Charlie Lawrence up top like I say it's all to do with fitness the weird thing with Man City is that Harry Kane I just noticed he's playing out on the wing um, yeah uh, bizarre but th th yeah um, there we go um, <laughs> that's that's what they want to do so um, yeah uh, let's see how, how we fare so we are at the Etihad. It's going to be tough either way. I mean, uh, we're both like actually in the league. We're, we're you know sixth and seventh in the league. So um, yeah, it's 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 close in the league as it were. So these teams are fairly close on form and stuff at the moment. So this is going to be an interesting game to see how this um, sort of pans out. So first chance now as Ollie Clay throws this one into the box. Unkunku gets Unkunku gets there. I should say it's come here to Martin Neto. Ben Clay now lays it off. Neto being forced back on Kunku now. Gets it around the corner, finds Ollie Clay. Nice ball in. Charlie Lawrence knocks it back to him. And Ollie Clay blasts it over. So that is the first half. Just that one highlight. And the one highlight is the only attempt that we've had. And as you can see, yeah, like I say, it was blasted over. We've only had the one shot. Like, uh, obviously, Manchester City have had a few um, themselves, but nothing to show in a highlight. And um, so, yeah, nil-nil, <laughs> you know. I mean, when we played him in the league, it was it was a boring nil-nil, um, if I remember as well. Like, so um, not a lot to separate these two sides. So chance now as Malang Sar like pushes this one into the box. It's headed away from Tisseron. It's come back here. And this is a good opportunity as Graven Birch has picked this one up. Played out here to Kone on this side. Can we get the ball off him? We can't. It's Manchester City pushing in the early at the later stages, and that's a great strike there from Graven Birch. Uh, not good. Just a, like a Kevin De Bruyne kind of hits, it wasn't it? Like, you know. But yeah, it just could see that something was coming, but he just did not get hold of this one. And yeah, Rodolfo, yeah, not able to get anywhere near that one. And I think it was going to be something like that that was going to separate these two sides. So I'm um, going to change the formation. Uh, got nothing to lose, really. Going to go with the 4-3-3. Going to change some, make some changes, obviously, because of it. Um, Oli Clay's coming off, actually, because he's on a 62% like fitness. Like I said, he weren't fully fit, these players, going into this one. We've got other players that got possibly I could have taken off as well. Uh, Bo Janssen is the one that was like, sacrificed for the fact that I can bring Appleby on and then play um, this 4-3-3 formation. And let's see if we can um, sort things out. Let's go um, very attacking as well. Um, and yeah, let's um, let's go for it. So, like anything's going to happen, not going to get the highlight. 
no changes been made but yeah, as you can see we got one shot on target in that whole game and that just sums up that match really and um, we didn't necessarily deserve to go through I mean it's just poor I mean like I can say I just think it's uh, a combination of depressed because we went out of the Europa League and also I think just fitness as well but they're saying that I mean Man City players weren't exactly the fittest either they were like you know struggling um, as well and um yeah, we're at, I thought at the beginning of the episode that there's a possibility you could go out of both competitions and that is what has happened very narrowly on both. You know, that's the thing. Just, you know, just one goal in it, really. Um, I mean, you could say, yeah, obviously the Europa League one is, is kind of two goals, one and a half goals, isn't it? Because of that way one. But there we are. Um, yeah, all we've got now is, I mean, we've won, a, we've won the Carabao Cup. You know what I mean? We can't say it's a bad season, can we? But we can concentrate on maybe pushing for that fourth spot. Um, that's that's the thing. Um, and that's like, you know, and that's what we can use the rest of the like time now that we're out of those competitions. We'll, we'll have fitter players and we can concentrate on um, going for that fourth spot and getting maybe a Champions League for next season. And talking of the league, I thought I'd just like, you know, um, sort of show you where we are. We're actually sitting in seventh, but don't worry, don't panic. You know what I mean? We have got a couple of games in hand over the teams above us because obviously our like sort of, you know, champion Carabao Cup like and stuff like that. We've obviously training a little bit in, in that. So we win we know a couple of games in hand and stuff like that, then we are we are right in the mix. We're we're up into like that that sort of fourth spot. So um yeah, that's what we've got to like concentrate on. And um it's a shame, you know, it's, it would have been nice to to have stayed in, in the competitions but it just means that we have to improve on the squad for next season um i have by the way managed to get over the line i'll just show you now um upa Meccano, there is just the 74 million overall it's going to be 77 million depending on like other like things that i've added into that but um yeah huge signing for us like you know they are um, upa Meccano will be a player for next season he has like signed the contract on 185,000 a week yeah chesterfield are at that level now so um we are like looking at possibly being able to bring in some like quality players i think it helped being in the europa league I think the fact that we are going to be in it next season, no matter how, where we finish, because obviously we've won the Carabao Cup, I think it's going to it, it attracts better players, you know, to to, to to your squad, which is what we're hoping. I want to be able to keep hold of like you know, Appleby, you know, play, players like him, Ollie Clay, you know, players that have like been like touted as, as, as leaving and stuff. I'm hoping to be able to keep hold of them. Like I say, we're out of the cups, and we've just got the lead to concentrate on if we can win um, our remaining you know games and stuff, or get like you know, as many points as what we can possibly get then hopefully four spot is within grasp and um yeah that's something to like look tune in for and hopefully you you enjoy the ride and um, but there we go guys i'm afraid we're out of the competitions that we were in today but that's just you know the way things are we go from like a high of winning the carabao cup in one episode to the low of going out of two competitions in today's but thank you as always guys for tuning in i do massively appreciate it um and um yeah one of those will go down um brilliantly and um yeah catch you on the next one dave from umongo gaming Signing off. Cheers.